we were looking at C scale in the first position as the hand friendly one here. And again, to refresh your memory, C on the third fret of the A string, uh, D open D string, E second fret of the D string, F third fret of the D string, G open G string, A second fret of the G string, B open uh, B string, and C on the first fret. So you got your two C's, one at the third fret here of the A string and one at the first fret of the B string. You play all this together, ascending, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And we would want to play it descending as well. So, C, D, A, G, F, E, D, C. Remember, it's important uh, for good finger discipline, first finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, and third finger on the third fret. We won't need the fourth, our uh, pinky finger, uh, for, for today, I don't think. So, again... C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Now that's one way we can think of them, but we can also think of those, uh, as we discussed, as degrees. So degree is just a fancy pants way of saying what number the note is. C is one, right? D is two, E is three, the third degree. So we could count those like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one again. One C, B, and one, right? So it's actually seven notes if you think about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the eighth note, or the octave, is the same as the first note, or the tonic. So not only can we call them by letters, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, we can call them by numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We can also think of them as uh, intervals. So the intervals for a major scale, which is what we're talking about here, the C major scale, go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And that just refers to the distances between the notes. Our first note is the tonic, that's a C. Now we need a whole step, that's a D. Another whole step, that's an E. Now E to F is only a half step because E and F and of course B and C are the two sets of notes that don't have a half step in between them. So tonic, whole step, whole step, half step, that's E to F. Now F to G, whole step, G to A, whole step, A to B, whole step, and B to C, half step. So we could do that uh, without uh, mentioning the, the note names. We would go tonic, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. Um, and in reverse, that is descending, would be octave, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, and whole step. Down to the tonic again. One more way you can think about this, and this is where most guitar players start uh, thinking about uh, guitars, chord, chord shapes, and just playing in general, is where do I put my fingers? So we can refer that by the uh, frets now. Third fret, open, second fret, third fret, open, second fret, open, first fret. First fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, second fret, open, third fret. So four different ways of referring basically to all the same thing. We should be comfortable with all of those, um, all, uh, all four of those ways, but at least know where you put your fingers, that is what fret they're going to go on, and one other way. So I would recommend either uh, the note name, C, D, E, F, G, or the, um, or the intervals, uh, tonic, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, or the degrees, one, two, three, four, five. Any of those uh, will work besides knowing where to put your fingers. So, uh, so please practice that. And if you get that under your hand, which means you can do it 10 times in a row perfectly, right? You can also play all of the C scale notes in the first position. C scale notes in the first position, of course, we would look at the lo lowest note here. That would be an E, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then build that scale up uh, again as we as we did before. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then continue. D, E, F, G. So all of the uh, first position C scale notes are available to us right here. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and um, and descending and reverse. That would be. G F E D C B A G F E D C B A G F E. Now I've been doing that for a really long time. So the trick here is to take your time. Really take your time, right? See if you can do it 
as slowly as humanly possible. Believe me, I, I must have played that, oh, I don't know, thousands and thousands of times. So it does get, just trust me, it does get more comfortable as you go. But this is a great uh, introduction to understanding that there are four ways to think about those notes that you're playing. All right, good luck, and I'll see you next week.